Find unlimited inheritance leads for free. Guys, it's Rick and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get inheritance lists, not only for free, but how you can do it with virtually absolutely no competition from any other wholesalers or realtors. But before I get into it, do me a favor, make sure you smash that like button, you hit that subscribe button, so you get the best wholesaling information today. So unless you've been hiding under a rock, you've probably heard of the inheritance list. And honestly, it is a fabulous list. I can't not argue it. And what is an inheritance list? It's basically a list of people who have been inherited a house. Basically, it's been deeded over to them and they can do what they want or as they wish with the house. And it makes perfect sense why an inheritance list would be like really ripe. Like honestly, if you think about it, it sounds like one of the greatest lists ever. But I have a caveat to this. I'm here to tell you, you do not want the inheritance list. Actually, you want the complete opposite. What if I could show you a way to where you could beat everybody on the inheritance list? Bear with me. Let me break this all down for you. You see, an inheritance list is the final outcome of a probate proceeding. And most investors, 9 out of 10, think that's the only way you can buy a property that's going through probate is wait till it transfers. Once it transfers from a probate, to the new owner, which is a family member or the PR, whoever it is, then it's considered a formal inheritance. And once that property shifts names, you go on the special list called the inheritance list. And I know what you're thinking, like that's gotta be the greatest list forever. Couple exceptions, here's the problem. The inheritance list is not big because not every property transfers in the probate process. Some get sold, some come out of probate. There's so many things that can happen in that process. Number two, an inheritance list is public, meaning everyone gets access access to it. And here's the only way you get access to the list. There are company data providers that comb through these lists meticulously. Once it becomes public record that the probate is transferred to a new owner, you are now on the inheritance list. Here's the problem. There's not a lot of leads on this. And there is a heck of a lot of wholesalers, realtors, fix and flippers, landlords that all subscribe to this list called the inheritance list. And here's the crazy part. It's like $300 a county. Like do the math on that. Honestly, I did the inheritance list for two and a half years. I got two deals out of it. I don't even think I broke even on the fees they charged to me. So why do I want to chase properties that are on a very public list that basically winds up nine times out of 10 being an on-market property and you have absolutely zero competitive advantage? So why am I shooting this video? I'm here to tell you there is a way to hack this list and honestly is the easiest procedure you have to do in the world. Remember, as a new wholesaler, what you lack in resources, meaning money, wise, you have to make up in resourcefulness. So if you go and take the average guru's information by the inheritance list, you just bought a list that hundreds of thousands of other investors have bought at the same time. And they're typically going to be on market properties and you have no competitive advantage. So let me show you how to get this inheritance list when it's off market and you have nobody else competing with you for it. This is a really, really simple process. So let me give you a visual here. I don't have a notepad on me, but I'm just going to shoot this video. Your inheritance is the very end of a probate process. It is when they take John Doe and switch it to the PR on file and move it to Sally May. And then that officially cues up a record change on a probate and that's how it winds up on the inheritance list. And honestly, once it goes through the inheritance process, it's done, meaning they can take the property and sell it for the highest and best use. They can fix it up. They can use a rental, whatever they want to do with it. So why would I want to sit here and compete at the end of the line? When we know the probate process starts here and and then once they file the, for the petitioner for the PR, that PR has the same power as the original owner of the property, meaning the person that's deceased. And if they have the legal contractual ability to sell that property, why don't I start at the probate process and work in this first section? While all other wholesalers, realtors, creative finance guys, they all wait till the inheritance list comes out. You are one year behind the process by the time it goes through probate to the inheritance. So my hack, my simple way, and I've done over 236 properties this way, is I buy the properties while they're in probate long before it ever gets an inheritance list. You're thinking like, how can you do that? Let me tell you how it works. You want to learn more how to do this, go over to freewholesaling.com. But you have the ability to basically sell the asset, the home, the biggest expense usually in most people's probates. Why? Because the estate gets drained. If I got to pay the mortgage, the utilities, the taxes, the insurance, and it takes six months to a year, what if we could sell it for right now and it's as is value? 
value and just put it to bed. You see, a lot of people in probate, they want certainty. They just want to get their fair share of money out of it and they want it done. They don't want drama and they don't want to list it on MLS or do anything like that. A lot of times the property is not in great shape. There's a lot of contents into it and it's not up to date. This is why the probate process is perfect. And if you follow my process where I teach you actually how you can buy the probate before the probate's even complete. And by the way, you can do it in just about every state. I've proven it before. You have a huge competitive advantage. Think about this. If you start here with the probate and then you basically have the PR, which is the personal representative, and then you work through them this process before it gets to the final title change, you just eliminated 95% of all your competition. You solved the seller's problem. One of the biggest problems I solve in probates is I just don't want to keep paying bills on this house. Can you show me how to do it? And all we do guys is I don't have any magic. I'm not a lawyer. I don't even know everything about it. I know I work with my title company and multiple lawyers and my probate lawyer, and they showed me basically how the lawyer can can file a petition to liquidate the asset before the probate's done. Why? Because it's already built in there. If you ask every lawyer, ask any motivated seller with a lawyer in probate, nine out of 10 will tell you, I cannot sell the property till what? The probate's complete. That means you have to wait till it gets to the inheritance list. What if I told you, you have the ability to enter into an agreement with the personal representative, just as if it was a deceased person to go ahead and contract that property. You just have to get court approval. And remember the court's job is not to tell you what the price of the property is. They just want to make sure that you have the legal authority to sell it, which is the PR, the personal representative, and you have a bona fide offer. If you have those two, the court just facilitates that they have the right people and they move it forward. They want to move as many probates along as fast as they can and make sure all the deceased wishes are granted. So guys, I do you understand that if you work a probate the way I teach you how to do it for freewholesaling.com, you actually never want to deal with the inheritance list. Only lazy investors deal with the inheritance list because they don't understand the probate process and and they just want the leads sent to them. The problem is if you can only buy one or two properties off an inheritance list and you're spending tens of thousands of dollars, how profitable is it really? And what if you could get that exact same list 100% for free, which you can get probates for free. Just go down to your courthouse. You ask for the last 30 days of dockets of probates open. You look up and see if the deceased own a property within that county and you just cross-reference that with the property appraiser site from there. And then you just skip trace the PR. I don't go after the errors in it. I've tried that the poor, go and locate the PR, the personal representative or the executor. And then once you do that, you reach out to them, basically do a cold call. We teach you how to do a warm cold at freewholesaling.com, or you can just send them a simple letter. I have a free probate template letter that works great. I've tested it out. You don't need to overthink it. Go over to freewholesaling.com. Guys, I'm telling you right now, the inheritance list, complete waste of your time. I do a tenfold off the probate list, what I do off the inheritance list. And honestly, I find the inheritance list way outdated, way too expensive per county. And there's just not enough leads to make it worth my time. I know there's some exceptions to this, but honestly, if you just chase down the probates, go to your local courthouse, your probate court, get the leads fresh as soon as possible and consistently do this week in and week out. Not only do you not pay for the list, you have a tactical advantage. Why? Because you're dealing with properties before anyone else thinks you can deal with them. Yes, the PR can enter into a legal contract with you and it doesn't really cost you any money. And you can go about your regular wholesaling business. And here's the best part. I saved it for the last. Your average probate deal, not inheritance deal, probate deal has three times the amount of profit you're going to have in a regular assignment. Why? Because you're solving so many multiple problems. You're giving them speed, convenience, and you're giving them a fair price and you are giving them the most important thing, which is certainty. And of course, you're going to give them dignity. Guys, the probate list absolutely dominates and crushes the inheritance list. The only reason why you guys hear about the inheritance list, because somebody's got to sell you something because that's how they make money. I get emails every day from Google is trying to sell me the inheritance list, I laughed. Guys, I've tested this out for you. Do not waste your time or money on the inheritance list. Go straight to the probates. Number one, they're free. Number two, they're highly, highly profitable. Three times as profitable as your normal assignment wholesale deals. And the last but not least, it gives you a competitive advantage to find highly motivated leads that are off market that most investors, most wholesalers, most landlords, fix and flippers don't think you can do it because they're not resourceful. Listen, if you're resourceful, you like working with me and Zach, I will teach you how to attack attack the best list possible. Please ignore the inheritance list. They're just there to take your money. I've tried this guys. I've got 21 years experience. Someone can prove me wrong. I'm fine with it. But probates are pre-inheritance lists that are off market that have not transferred title, which gives you a huge competitive advantage. So guys, let me know if you're using this little known tactic, using probates over the inheritance list. And as usual, if you got value from this video, do me a favor, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. This is Rick Ginn, and I'll see you in the next video.